the magic of sports is it allows everyday ordinary people who who have day jobs at banks and at businesses and it allows them to go completely nuts. It is caught! Touchdown! The five touchdown! It's just this ability to transfer all of this emotion and just go out and, and be wild and experience the game. And uh, I think we're talking about a rival, uh, especially one like SMU, where the institutions are so different. It makes it even more spirited and more fun. I don't know where I start with this one. Um, I think it goes back to the days of the Southwest Conference, and I think it goes back to the days where Hayden Fry wanted to get North Texas into the Southwest Conference. There's a lot of schools in the Southwest Conference that wanted no part of North Texas, but I think leading the way was SMU. They wanted no part of us. They wouldn't play us for years and years and years. And then after they got the death penalty for cheating like a bunch of mother hubbards in the 80s, then they would play us. And we played them in 89 with a team that was ranked number one at one point in the season in 1AA and didn't play well. And they, they beat North Texas and Dallas at OMB Stadium. And then 1990 at Fouts Field, North Texas played SMU. The stands were full. I know there were 22,000 there. And North Texas won 14 to seven, and it was great because, yes, we have a chip on our shoulder, North Texas, we do. We didn't get in the Southwest Conference. SMU has kept us out of all sorts of other conferences. Didn't play us for years. I'm glad they're playing us now. Uh, it's great, it's, it's good for them just as it's good for TCU to play SMU. It's good, it generates local interest in college football with local teams and that you can't, you can't beat that. You're in the Metroplex where there's a lot of competition um, for people's attention and one way that you distinguish yourself on any given Saturday is to be playing a rivalry. It's important for our fan base, it's important for recruiting. Um, there's a lot of things that go into a pride. I think it mobilizes your fans. It gives them a little extra pep in their step, a little extra juice. You get more of them here. Any school they play in their conference, the AAC, they will not bring as many fans to Ford Stadium uh, as North Texas. Wide open, touchdown! You know, we're still young in Conference USA, um, but, but certainly uh, the, the teams that stick out to our fans, um, a lot of them reside right here in the great state of Texas. And so when you talk about UTEP, uh, SMU, and UTSA, even though we took a huge step last season, um, we lost to those three teams. And I think that sticks in everybody's uh, crawl a little bit. Uh, administrators, coaches, I know it sticks in, uh, with the fans. <laughs> Everybody loves to go back to the water cooler on Monday and bow their chest out at their rival and say, oh, we got you. And I have fun with it. I think uh, Coach Latrell has fun with it. Uh, the fans, it probably reaches just beyond fun, uh, probably, <laughs> probably. Dallas and Denton, 30 miles apart. Uh, I'm actually from Dallas, so it's actually a big game. I got a couple guys that went to my high school that played for SMU. They came into our place last year and they beat us first game. And that's a terrible feeling and that's something you don't forget. So this whole week I'm in attack mode, ready to go, fired up. We play them 10 years in a row. It's a team that we have our eyes on every season. The last couple of years didn't turn out in our favor. And SMU takes a season opening win. Listen, you know, SMU, I have respect for, for them as an institution, but certainly it's an institution that prides itself on academic rankings, but if you look at most of the rankings, we're right there with them. And, and you know, a lot of our student population is uh, probably more blue collar, more first generation college students. I was a first generation college student, so when you enter college uh, under those conditions, you kind of do so with a little bit of a chip on your shoulder, something to prove. You have us here in Denton, detached a little bit from the metro. It used to be more of a rural area. We're certainly growing, but then you have them in Highland Park. I mean, it's such a clash of everything about the two teams is different. This is a big game for the fans. This is the one they want to see us win. It's the next game. It's part of uh, you know your goals of um, competing and, and winning championships down the line. So again, every game's important, but uh, you know, anytime you're playing a local team and or a rival, you know, it ups the game. And Wilson to the five, into the end zone, touchdown. We don't feel the pressure any more than we do any other game, but we feel the excitement surrounding this game. Come on. But I think it's more of a respect kind of thing, like. Draw and he is sacked inside the 10.
I'm from Texas, you're from Texas, who's better? When you're a mid-major program, it's not easy. It's not easy because you're constantly compared to the Power Five conferences. So what do you have? Well, you have your own conference, and then you have your rivalries. In my mind, we really only have one, SMU. And they may not feel that way, that's fine. They don't have to. <laughs> but we take it personally. North Texas people hate SMU. Hates, no, it's not too strong a word. We, we hate you. We really do. UNT is more than a place. We are a community of dreamers and doers. Here, knowledge grows. Ideas become discoveries and opportunities are boundless. We ask questions and seek answers. We push boundaries and expand minds. We defy expectations and pursue excellence. A tier one research university, UNT innovates for a brighter tomorrow. We are the path to success. We are UNT. Friday we do a little quarterback competition. They have an extended like 25 or 30 minute special teams period. And so we have a QB competition and let them compete for the uh, championship belt. Each week the belt's on the line. So we'll see what it, see who takes home the belt today. There's five different pieces of this competition. Winner takes the belt home, keeps it for the week. They wear it to class, wear it to, to lunch. Whatever they feel like doing with the belt, they get to do. Last week Mason took it home, had a really strong showing actually won it on a, on a walk-off on his last throw. So everybody's kind of pulling for Mitch this week. Doesn't count, gotta hit the cone. Hey, story of your life, Mason, just a bit short. He was locked in right there, he just missed it. You get uh, one point in the net, but we also hand out negatives. If you throw a, an awful ball like that one. No! It's a fade ball, you gotta get air under it. Why wasn't that a score? Hit the bag, can't touch the bag, and it can't go too far out of bounds. If it goes too far out of bounds, the judge, myself, gets to deem it as a negative and take a point off your score. They think every week this is some type of democracy, and it's not. There's, one, there's only one judge out here. Can we get a, a ball in the net? We got the camera back here, he's looking for a good shot. Yes! It's everyone's favorite part. Negative! We did a similar competition in Green Bay. Yeah, that's an NFL deal. 42 yards from line of scrimmage if you take a three and a hit, supposedly. And then we had a little, uh, like, a small bucket net, and they put it 42 yards from line of scrimmage. They let us take, like, three from under center and three from the gun. So it's five and a hit from under, three and a hit from the gun. You should land 42 yards from the line of scrimmage, supposedly. Oh, yeah. oh no. Wow. Over the top. This isn't fair from a man, Money Mitch. I mean, that's everything he's got in the tank, and he can't get it here. It's a faulty competition for him. Crossbar, last last one of the day. This is a tight race, too. So you get three throws. One from, uh, we start at the 20, 25, and 30-yard line. And each time, the uh, you go crossbar, you go upright, point difference between one. So, like, first one is one point for the crossbar, two for the uprights, and then it goes up by one every five yards back. The last throw, you can go for four or five points and win, this, win the game on that one throw. No! This is where the game can be won and lost. Do I need to go jump it? So, we're on our last throw here. We had to wait till after practice. Really, whoever, if somebody hits on this one, they, they're pretty much gonna win. It's that tight of a race. Oh, Mitch is going for the win right here. Let's go, Mitch! Let's go, Mitch! Hey, Mitch, if you get it in my hands, you automatically win. Oh, no. So, for the first time all year, we've got a tie, so we're about to have a uh, sudden death tiebreaker in the old QB competition. In fourth place, with a grand total of one point. Oh, and the positives. Money making Mitch. Money! Money making Mitch. At least you finished positive. In third place, 
with a grand total of two points. Two. Devlin, Isidore. Is he? I thought he won. Who is Devlin? Devlin. Devlin. That's Devlin. From last he had some week. good balls on those fades. Who yeah, is yeah. Devlin? I thought he might have won. Yeah. And ladies and gentlemen, we're in for a treat today. We have a tie. Yeah! Sudden death here, right? Sudden death. First guy hits, second guy misses. Game's over. Game's over. The second thrower has a shot. The second thrower's got the shot. This is the cone. Usually we have a bigger one, but this is New Denton, so we're getting better. Smaller cone. What are you what? I don't think so. Oh, that's a good wow, attitude. Oh. Ball. Oh. Yeah! 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 This is my worst drill. Ball. Let's go! Mason did last week. Boy, it's nice. Oh, that was good. I think that was real good. I absolutely love um, doing community service. People think it's it's a it's a chore, uh, but when you talk to most everyone that that would do a community service project, uh, they would say that they got out of it so much more than they were giving. Going and packing a few food bags and and helping organize the food bank, you're helping somebody that could survive because of what they were providing, uh, which was a fantastic opportunity. I am and always will be, all day, CUSA. In the classroom, we are committed. In the community, we are uplifting. In athletics, we are strong. And on our campuses, we are accepting. Dynamic, diverse, determined, this is who we want to be, on and off the field. In our everyday lives, we are all day CUSA. And together, we are Conference USA. One thing we do have here is we have five helmets. So we have our practice helmets and four game helmets. So that's over, I believe over 700 helmets that we have in stock. So my staff and I are, are very busy. So the week prior to every game, uh, we prepare over 120 helmets. It starts on Sunday and it goes all the way through the week. Uh, we, go, we do everything from putting them in their helmets, custom fitting every athlete to make sure that the safety and well-being of our student athletes is always at its forefront. Shine helmets, clean helmets, decaling, doing a quick quality control check on inside the helmets, and making sure it's maintenance, uh, smelling good, all that stuff. All right, first thing we do is we put our 3D nose bumper on the front. We make sure that all the hardware pieces, there's no cracks, make sure everything's good. Our helmets are only used a handful of times during the season per color, so it's a little easier to upkeep. Helmets, they evolve yearly when we have our conventions, and, and that's always the, the main topic is what we can do better for our student athletes to prevent head injuries, concussions. This is a speed helmet, so the insides are a lot more comfortable, has a nice cushion front. Everything is customized from your inflatable jaw pads to the back part of your uh, helmet to the top of your crown. So everything's custom fit to every athlete, which makes it a better fit. So our other helmet besides our speed helmet that we use is our speed flex helmet. We introduced this helmet this year uh, for the first time in our program. The speed flex helmet has a flex part in the front. Uh, it distributes energy throughout the helmet a lot better. It helps reduce the disbursement of energy in the first third of your helmet. So it actually disperses energy throughout the helmet instead of this first half. One of the main things that helps with that is moving these two screws to the outside. So as you can tell, there's screws on the outside here and outside here, and it has a little flex to it. So it actually has a little bend. So almost like if you have two helmets in together, this one actually gives back to help disperse the energy and kind of not move the player's body 
the player's head all the way to the front. So it's one of my favorite helmets. Uh, we're introducing more and more every year. Uh, right now we have about 20 guys uh, wearing this helmet on our team. So one of the first things I did when I got here was try a couple different things uh, when it comes to the color scheme of all our helmets. So we had, a, I brought in a matte white, a shiny white, uh, a flat black, and as soon as Coach Latrell saw the flat black, he fell in love with it. So we started working on the decal concept, the front nose bumper concept. Everything started putting in place uh, about May of this past year. This is something new this year is that we put a back bumper on all of our helmets. Uh, we have three different uh, slogans. Uh, one is let it fly. Uh, the other one we have mean green. And then we have the other one that says uh, UNT. Uh, the Let It Fly is, uh, is a story I heard, I guess, from when Coach uh, got hired here. One of the first things he said in his press conference was, we're going to let it fly. So I always thought, man, that's a cool slogan. Let's go ahead and roll with it. We're undefeated. Big money. We get these new helmets, so I'm going to ask them to do it every week. <laughs> Having them in their lockers on Saturday from the start of the game, they're just going to be in love with it you know they they love the black face mask the black helmet the black uh, chin strap everything that's coordinated with the helmet got the matte black helmet visor flex you know what i mean we got the new stuff man that boy mike Ren baker so true man they held it down man the mean green changing up the look tonight black helmets gray jerseys with green numbers and black pants. And we are set to go. And Fine wants to throw, and Fine's Turner Smiley complete. First down, makes a move, 45, 50, 45, SMU, 40, and down to the 37-yard line. The find out goes in motion, and it's an empty backfield. Fine with a snap, tosses over the middle, Darden with a catch, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, inside the five, and knocked out of bounds, and it'll be first and goal. And again, find in motion, goes wide left. This will be a wildcat snap to Jeffrey Wilson, who gets Darden in motion, fakes the handoff, goes up the middle, powers his way in for a touchdown. We'll bring up third down and eight. Yet to target Sutton, quick toss, six with time, delivers, caught over the middle, and a first down, a broken tackle, 40, 30, 20, 10, five. Now he's found Cortland Sutton. Got it, seven third down, they throw it to the boundary six times. It's a shorter, it's an easier throw. We're getting pressure, they're getting pressure. We just got to communicate and hold up, all right? So understand what we're going to get. Hey, get and, and think about this too now, all right? If it's third and eight and we're blitzing, what should we be doing? Pressing, right? Why play off and let him raise up and run to the sticks and get the first down? That's that not smart football I was talking about. Not knowing the situation. Third and 11 back at the eight. The trips right in the diamond look. Smiley wide left, low snap, Fine has it, stands at the goal line, now scrambles to his left and will be hit and dropped at the seven yard line. Now listen to me, look up there, if there's a two eye right there, press it and it'll be there, you with me? If there's a three, press it and it'll be there, but you're changing up, you're, you're, uh, you're changing up who you're reading. Yeah, he did. You with me? He went across. I'm telling you on zone? Okay, now on. Kevon Hall, who has tight coverage, second down snap. And Hicks wants to throw deep to him, and it is intercepted at the six-yard line by Hall. Let's go! That's how Let's go. If they see us, show a pressure. I will keep us in the same front, but switch the blitz. Make sense? So you linebackers got to do a great job of communicating which one we're going through. Make sense? All right. Good job. This will be 46 yards from the far hash. Puts it down. Kick has plenty of distance, and it is good. Third and long from their 40. Hicks with a pump fake, now fires deep up the right sideline. It is caught for a touchdown. Halftime at Ford Stadium in Dallas is 24-10. SMU leading.
really committed to the growth of the individual in a team environment. We love community service, just helping out the community. I was fortunate enough to get athletic and academic aid, so um, it just opened up so many doors for me and I'm very grateful for it. My name is Victoria Junius. Thanks to North Texas and Conference USA, I am and will always be all day CUSA. For the most part tonight, solid. Not 100%. Man, listen up. We're fine. Two possession game. Let's go score. Let's get back in this thing, all right? Don't panic. Let's go be us. That's what happened that first half. We stopped playing our ball. Tried to do too much. First drive, we came out with a lot of excitement. Did our job. March right down the field. After that, people start pressing a little too much, all right? Do your job. Don't do someone else's job. Trust them to do their job, all right? Protection wise. Guys coming. We didn't go do it, do our job. We got Mason hit right in the mouth, all right? Relax. Have fun. Let's go light this thing up. We can move it up and down the field. Lock in on third down. Somebody's got to step up and make a play, all right? Tell me nice job on that home on third down. On third down, somebody's got to step up and make a play. If we do that, we're going to be on the field and we're going to move it up and down the field. Like I said, I think we're executing well. Uh, we got to keep the energy high and believe. We're about to go beat these guys, all right? They haven't stopped us yet. We didn't do our job, tried to do too much, didn't trust our teammates to do their, their job, whatever the case may be. If we do our job, that's all we gotta do. All right, listen up, men. Everybody hear me? Yes, sir. Man, two possession game is nothing. It's nothing, all right? As bad as we played, we came out great. Came out with energy, enthusiasm. We came out sharp. Get back to that. They're doing nothing different, all right? They're doing nothing different. We have to do two things on offense and defense. One, get off the field on third down and convert. Lock in and focus, all right? And two, dominate their ass. Be more physical than them, all right? Men, we, I, I told you there's going to be adversity, did I not? Yes, sir. All right, how did I tell you we're going to overcome it? Together. 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 This is it right now. Come out, excited to play. you got two quarters left. Two possession game. Let's go win this thing. How about that? How about we go win this thing? Yes, sir. All right, break them down. Let's go. Let's go, man. Let's go. Come on. First down at the Mean Green 35-yard line. And Hicks back to work. Play action fake. Throws over the middle. Caught 15, 10, 5. Untouched is Sutton. Nothing you can do with it. But one thing we can do is do our job. You know, everybody the same, same way. They play the next play. Don't ride the roller coaster. Let's make sure we do a better job on the pass rush. Quarterback in the pistol. Play action fake. And throws one deep over the middle. Caught by Galliard. 40, 30, 20, 10. Touchdown. That's, that's why you have to have, always have your eyes on the three. Okay, so if three comes flat right now, the slant's going to get taken in by the linebacker. Yeah. I, I don't know for sure. Like, it didn't look like he like went out like yeah, right now. He did? Yeah, okay. he came right now, right off the ass. Only once was the spot route, basically, that we've been working on yeah. all the time when we were in man a lot. Yeah. So they just had to send in because they went in over. Yeah. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah. And Mason Fine heaving it deep on first down, caught 30, 20, 10, touchdown. Jalen Guyton goes 72 yards. There you go, JG. Hey, first, first, first D1 tough. I just like to put it out there. I do it for my mom and my fan. I do it for my daddy and both of my sisters. Go me green. Yeah. Locust Grove, Oklahoma is checked in. Wide right, fine looking left though, and throws into the end zone, has a man caught over the shoulder. Touchdown, Jalen Darden. Two point conversion, two backs. Smith and Johnson in the backfield as fine looks to the right and throws back of the end zone, caught for the two point conversion. There you go, and that will do it in SMU. Takes a 54-32 victory over the main green. Someone has to step up and make a competitive play. Someone has to step up and make a competitive play. They killed us on third down, and that killed us in the first half and in the second half. Offensively, we got to pick up for our third downs. We can't be going for the ball on short yardage situations and not being able to get a yard, yard and a half. That's inexcusable. All right, and it's something we have to improve on and, and get much better at. Two, take care of the football. We have three turnovers, they have zero. They took care of the football, and that's what ends up happening. Those two alone. And we're much better than that. Defensively, guys in the secondary up front, I don't know, we'll see. 
I thought for the most part we stopped the run pretty well all night. Secondary, you can't rely on what you did last year. You cannot rely on what you did last year. That's something we've been talking about. You got to earn it every single game. And we weren't disciplined enough on the back end. Do your damn job. That's good enough. Don't overpress. Start stressing. Bad stuff starts happening. They pile on top of each other, and they're harder and harder and harder to overcome. We're going to be in a lot of big games. <coughs> and we're going to win a lot of big games. Let this be a great learning experience. We didn't really play selfless, tough, and disciplined today. Not the way I've seen us play. But you know what? I'm not sitting here pointing your finger at you either. It's me too. I got a, I got a part in this deal. Your coaches have a part in this deal. So what are we going to do? We're going to come together. That's what we're going to do. We're going to get stronger because of this game. Let's all fix our, our crap. We're on the same page? Yes, sir. Get your coach.